Hey Pisces, it's Suzanne here with Sunny Force Tarot, here to do your topical reading of the week. Um, so whenever you see this, it doesn't really matter. I don't date the, the, um, the topical readings. So it's like whenever this finds you, that's when you're meant to hear it, okay? All right, so these cards are about blessings, blessings in your life right now. So this one represents you. This one represents the person that you're watching the video for, okay? Um, yeah, I just, I, I like this deck right now with everything that's going on in the world. And then I also wanted to absolutely thank all of you for your kind thoughts and prayers for Scout, my sister's dog. She's doing very, very well. They identified her as having Cushing's disease, which is normally um, a disease for older dogs. And for some reason, it's something that she's been struggling with. But when she was in the hospital, she had very low blood oxygen level and wasn't breathing right. So she literally was able to come home the next day. And that's when I posted that video of Scout coming home which was great news. So I just wanted to thank you so much for all of your all of your kind thoughts and prayers because they do make a difference. All right. So this row is going to be for you. Of course, in a general reading, you can swap the characters if that's what resonates better for you. That's okay. All right, so let's see what we have here. For you, we have a blessing to bring clarity. All right. So clarity, you might find clarity on your own. It might be because somebody else shares something with you that makes something very clear for you. What does this person have here? A blessing on a friendship. Interesting. Now, if you think about that, a blessing on a friendship, and then we have the number 14, which breaks down to a number five. So that's interesting. I feel like what this is saying is there could be a change around a friendship. So in other words, this person might be seeing a friendship with you as turning into something different, changing. So this might be something that you're feeling right now with a, a friend of yours. You might be feeling a connection with a friend that maybe has been a friend for a long time, maybe is a work friend, maybe is somebody that's been in your life in and out at different stages in your life. And suddenly the, the connection is changing. That's what I feel like this is saying. And, you know, this person might be bringing clarity to you about that. That's what I'm getting from this. All right, so for you, we have the Five of Swords. Okay, so this card is a card of conflict. So if you're, if you're needing clarity, then you're probably in some type of conflict. You might be going back and forth saying, does this person only consider me as a friend? Or does this person feel the energy shifting the way I do? Or do they not? But if there's a blessing on a friendship, it feels like, and the number here is about change. It feels like a friendship is changing. So again, if you're feeling the energy shifting between you and somebody that you've known as a friend, I feel like that's what's going on here. What does this person have? Three of Wands. 
So that's interesting because this card can be about waiting, but it can also be about knowing um, you know, there could be new clues about somebody's intentions. Either this person or they are getting clues from you about your intentions. In other words, there's a feeling that the energy is shifting between the two of you. This is pretty clear. Nine of Cups for you. Magician for this person. So Nine of Cups. So this is something that you, when you think about this person, you think about them as something that would fill your heart. Something that would be very fulfilling to you. Above and beyond friendship. All right. This person down here with the Magician. So this person, I'll tell you right now, you might not know it, but this person has been thinking about this for quite some time. I don't know how long you've known this person, but they have been thinking about it for quite some time. Because, so if we take the magician here, okay, which is about manifestation. So this person, whatever they've been thinking about for the last six months to a year is what they're manifesting right now. Okay, so you add this wand here to the three of wands, you get the four of wands, which is about a foundation. There is a foundation here, a foundation of friendship, but the four of wands is about long-term commitment, long-term connection, it can be it can be a twin type of connection as well. You might be dealing with somebody that you might be discovering is your twin flame, right? Your heart's desire. We have Hierophant for you, which is about It's about, you know, what it can be about commitment. It can be about marriage, but it can also be about, um, you know, what are your core beliefs? It's like this card can be about law of attraction. So, you know, what you think about, you draw to you, you draw towards you. And if you've been thinking about what fulfills your heart, you know, even if you haven't, even if the two of you haven't shared one word about this friendship evolving, it's like you both feel the energy shifting between the two of you. So this tells me in a lot of ways that you're committed to what your heart desires right now, and you're in conflict about needing clarity from this person in some way. Or needing clarity from the universe. And then this person has, look at this, this person has the high priestess. So, this person's being asked, are you really listening to your higher self? Are you really listening to your intuition? That's what this person is being asked. That's why they feel the energy shift between the two of you is because they're asking, you know, they're being asked, I should say, you know, are they listening to their higher self? Because if they are, they know what it is that this energy shift means. All right. So... I feel like this is the row that we want to explore, okay, right here. All right, so we're going to do you first, clarifying the Hierophant with the Wheel of Fortune, yep. So there's something about this friendship or about this connection that feels very destined to you suddenly. Suddenly things feel different, suddenly things feel like 
you know, you might be experiencing some type of serendipity with this person. Things just flow very easily. Just, but the Wheel of Fortune is trying to, you know, is, is trying to help you, is trying to move this forward. And I feel like you both feel that energy. Hermit. Look at this. We've got all major arcana here. The hermit is you really looking for this clarity. The hermit is absolutely doing that. The hermit is looking for clarity. You might be you might be talking about this with a trusted friend. You might be talk you might have found tarot on YouTube because of this. Okay, the Hermit is Virgo energy, okay? Um, so you might be dealing with a Virgo, you might be dealing with a Taurus, okay? So there's heavy earth energy here. Um, but you're seeking out, this is, this, is, this is the major arcana that talks about seeking out clarity. And it's clarifying the Wheel of Fortune, which is destiny. Or moving that wheel. The Wheel of Destiny is moving and you can feel that. And you're seeking, you know, that's... That is actually your clarity. If you're listening to your intuition. If you're listening, listening to the energy of what's changing between the two of you. That's the that's what you're seeking. I feel like it's already been given to you. It's already been presented to you, but you're not quite trusting it yet. Look at Seven of Swords. I just finished saying you're not quite trusting it yet. And Seven of Swords is is that energy of not trusting something of you know, feeling like something is a lie or isn't true. You're just not trusting it yet. So let's see what we have for this person down here with the high priestess. Again, you know, are they listening to their higher self? Because you are not there yet. You're still in conflict. High priestess clarified by the hierophant. So this person is being asked, not only are they listening to their higher self, but just like you, they're being asked what their core beliefs are. There's something about core beliefs when it comes to the two of you. You know, maybe there's a core belief about not crossing a line with a friendship. Maybe there are other people involved or other people that would judge this friendship turning into something more. And it's, you know, you both are being challenged with that. And, you know, the answer with that is always, you know, what other people think about a specific relationship really doesn't matter. It really doesn't. Hierophant, and then we look at Ten of Wands. So, Ten of Wands, Five of Swords, you're both in some conflict over this. You both feel the energy changing. You're both conflicted about it. You're both being, you know, you both feel like you're being tested, okay? And you both have a knowing about it already with possibly not having even said one word to each other about it. One more for this person. What did I tell you? Here's the Four of Wands. I just finished talking about the Magician and the Three of Wands adding up to the Four of Wands, which is long-term potential. But this is more than just friendship. This is leading towards possibly traditional marriage. This is about 11-11, which can be a twin type of connection. This might be driving you both nuts. You know, I can feel it. This is driving one or both of you nuts. 
Like if someone had asked either one of you like six months ago, if this would ever happen, I feel like neither one of you would have said yes. So this might have caught you both off guard in some way. All right, I want to just pull one card for each of your blessing cards. And I haven't done this with any other sign. And I'm just feeling called to do that. Let's see. Look at this. Queen of Cups, Pisces. And Page of Cups. Look at this. So Cups, I mean, we've got water energy here, right? That's you, Pisces, all right? Queen of Cups is about unconditional love. Page of Cups is about this person. I mean, you both want to level this relationship up. You, you both are feeling romantic feelings towards each other. You, I feel, may have been feeling this longer than this person, but this person has caught up. So if you think that this person is not feeling this energy, they are. They absolutely are. Page of Cups clarifying a blessing on a friendship. It's because it's new love. It's new love. Beautiful. All right, Pisces, that is what I have for you. Um, if you're looking for a personal reading, you can always reach out to me, as many of you do, which I appreciate. <laughs> um, and if not, no problem. Uh, I will talk to you in the weekly readings um, this week. All right. So stay happy, healthy, and safe. Okay. All right. Much love. Bye-bye.